This is not so easy case. This is not so simple case. It is. It is. It likes to be simple, but it is not so easy. So, uh, because it is already written by any other engineer, that means there is some. Uh, there must be some critical issue. That. So now I'll try to diagnose. Yes, I'm putting the in buzzer range. Now I'll check the MOSFET. See. First I will check the wind line. Yes, this is not short. Wind line is okay. And it will show you the value. Yes, it is showing the good value. Okay. Now again I will check the MOSFET in buzzer range. See this MOSFET. Because voltage is passing from this side to this side, no? So I will check this MOSFET. See, there is no shorting. Let us check here. No shorting. And this fat, this fat also no shorting. This fat also no shorting. Let us check in that range. Yes, it is showing me the value. One side, another side, it will show the high value. Yes, high value and gone. Now again, this side, high value. Again, this side. No value. That means the more MOSFET is fine. Okay. But is this is a P channel or is this is a N channel? Which channel MOSFET? This also we can check it here. Okay. Let us see the number. This number is 720 7403. 7403. 3 means odd number. That means it is a P channel. Let us see P channel. Red prop on train, black prop on source. Value. Yes, it is a P channel. Okay, done. Now, brother, you have seen that this section is okay. Okay, there is no any fault in MOSFET area. But also, why the battery voltage is going to the battery uh, adapter, DC, jack, DC jack connector? What is the reason behind this? And my friend engineer has already changed the charging chip also, but also not solved. See brother, this uh, fault I already diagnosed. I already diagnosed and there is a simple thing I got here. I got here. I got the solution but one thing I want to show you that here is the, in this board there is no indication of components every components there is no any indication of every components beside the charging area okay there is no any indication of number number there is no any numbers so in this type of case will not we, very hard to find the component what the component should be there and what the component is there let us see, simply go through the schematic ones, shortly I will show you, I will not give the full details here, how the logic we I used or how could I reach to the fault, the root fault cause, uh, it will be given in my paid channel. So brother if you want <coughs> the full logic and full uh, solution, uh, how I reach to the fault, uh, you should join the my channel so that you could uh, get the knowledge from there also and but also I will show you the solution here see once I will open the schematic it is the very common board yes here is the schematic yes now I will go for the um, charger area yes this is the charger area now see here this is the CLR position. This is the CLR position. PR4402. See here the battery supply. BT plus. This is the BT plus. This is the battery supply. This battery plus supply coming over here, passing through this MOSFET, it reaches to the, this CLR. Okay. But this CLR, the battery supply go from this side and it should be blocked here. Means it should be blocked here. It should not pass over here. Because here is the adapter plus, here is the adapter plus, this is the adapter plus. Here should be the adapter voltage, not the battery voltage. But here, 
without adapter battery supply should reach up to here not here but this is passing here that means somewhere this mosfet should be faulty but the mosfet is not faulty that means the gate value is drive by this section this resistors this fat this fat yes there are two transistors kept for to drive this mosfet in both adapter and battery mode adapter mode is fine adapter b is working fine adapter is charging the battery but in battery mode it is getting the fault that this mos this voltage is passing to the b side the reason we have to find in here okay we have to start our tracing from this area okay i will explain in my paid channel fully this what the this diagram says us and how this uh, what is the important signals which should come while the charger is kept in the laptop and while the adapt uh, battery is active in the ad laptop while adapter is at active and while the battery is active in both the condition we have to see here and uh, finally i will show you the here is the charging ic and charging ic charging ic the important signal of charging ic that we have to check the supply we have to check the detection adapter detection this ac detect adapter detection ac okay these are the important symptoms for adapter detection so we have to go through this charging ic and we will get the our faulty uh, uh, faulty area now i will show you i'm so brother here i want to show you the exact uh, location where the i got the fault and the full description will be given in my channel so i will show you the location common location of this type of fault uh, in this board especially see here brother this see here this charging ic some engineer has changed charging ic but the fault is not rectified the reason is that we are getting the clue here we are getting clue here but the fault is not in this area fault is, i got here in this area see see this is the resistor one resistor i will change now this resistor okay there is no any number given here by the help of schematic we can find out the resistor what the resistor was and we will get the clear knowledge from there and how i reached to the from that place of diagnosis i got the clue here diagnosis clue here i back trace everything here and i reached to the place here and i got the result i will show you the value of register has been changed here see i will show you the register value see it is approximately 0.9 it means 1 mega ohms yes but in this area there is no any register of 1 mega ohms and this is the reason the voltage is not passing over here properly so i am going to change replace this register and i will show you the solution so brother you see once this is the exact location of this ic okay your full description step by step how to diagnose how to go to the faulty place how i reach there i will fully explain in my channel with schematic point to point description will be given there okay i remove this register now i have kept here one register here i will change simply change this i change replace this register here okay i replace this register this this register now we will see the result let us see 
Now I'm putting the battery. Now I put the charger. See, the charger light is glowing. Then I remove the charger. Oh my god. Still same. Still same. Once I did see that register properly it is fixed or not. It is fixed or not. Either it may not be fixed properly. Put the uh, register here. Now one second, I will check. Putting that up, battery. I remove that register, faulty register, which has got the high value. Now I put that battery. Now I'm putting the well, adapter. Yes, adapter light is glowing. Now see the supply. It is getting charged or not? Yes, two six one six two. It is getting charged. Now I'm going to remove the adapter. See, the light is gone. The light is gone. Again, I will be putting the adapter. See, light is glowing. Light is glowing. Again, I remove the adapter. Light is gone. Now I will check you the same reading. See here, 15.3 volt, a battery, and again here, 15.3 volt. Now I will check here, this is at, yes there is zero. That means, now the battery supply is not going to the PC jack. That means it is blocked here. See here, this MOSFET 15.29 one side and another side see, there is no supply. That means, see there is no supply, another side, no supply. In one side, this battery supply. That means, this is the MOSFET which will block your battery supply that is PU4402 MOSFET this will block this battery supply going through the another side reverse side previously what happened this voltage was going to the DC jack so the laptop is getting auto charging itself without adapter but now it is totally now the solution has been done see the fault was a simply one resistor which was got high value and the laptop was getting auto charge and it was a return case from any other engineer he changed ICs he changed MOSFETs and whatever the work he has done I don't know now we got the solution brother the thing is that there is the simple fault but it was not the easy to repair uh, I got the clue by the help of schematic because in the board there are components uh, number are also not given properly the register number also not properly I got the value in my schematic and the register which I got the faulty I will show you this register was faulty this register was faulty this register was faulty and it was getting high value